Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. When you're out camping, sometimes you wanna keep in contact with your friends, family, or maybe even work. A cell signal extender is gonna help you to get a better cell signal than you're already getting from your carrier to be able to keep in contact with family, friends, or work. We're gonna answer some of the commonly asked questions about cell extenders here today. A cell extender is gonna take the weak signal from the nearest tower and send it to your phone. Now keep in mind, this is going to boost the signal that you have, so if you have no signal, a cell extender is not going to help. If you have a weak si signal, it's going to boost it. Generally speaking, yes. It's not going to be a super difficult installation. You'll have to install an antenna outside, run a wire inside your RV, which you can run through a vent um, or various different places. Then you'll have to run it to the control panel for the kit itself. And then you'll have to find a good place to set the antenna that your phone is going to connect to on the inside of your RV. We definitely want you to take a look at your specific instructions for whatever kit you decide to go with. Yes, they will work for all carriers, but your carrier does have the right to refuse service. So if you have any problems with your cell extender, not getting the signal that you're wanting, your carrier is probably not gonna be able to help you. Cell service is measured in decibels. That is a more technical term. You may also know it of it as a bar on your phone, you know, one through four bars. The closer to zero that your decibels are is the better your signal is gonna be. So it's measured in negative. So if you have a negative 110 decibels, that is deemed as pretty much an unusable signal. And negative 50 is almost perfect signal. So a cell extender is designed to boost on average about 20 decibels. This is gonna take a weak signal and turn it into a perfectly workable signal. The reason we're not talking about them in bars is because a bar is subject to change between carrier to carrier and cell phone to cell phone. Yes, quite simply, once you plug your cell extender in, everybody within the range that that cell extender is designed to reach will get better signal. Um, now, what you can have is if you have a bunch of people in that area and the cell signal booster is not designed to take care of that many people at the same time, everybody's cell signal may get worse and worse. So you wanna look at what type you want, whether it's indoor or outdoor, and what range that that is designed to cover. Well guys, hopefully we were able to answer some of your questions you might have had about cell extenders. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.